Kathy here. Okay, we're going to do a quick TPT update. I'm going to start trying to make it part of my schedule to do a weekly video showing you what my earnings are and what's new in my store, trying to kind of be my own personal accountability and try to have some new products each week to showcase to show you what I'm uploading, which I'm still working on reading projects. But before I get into that, don't forget to click on the like and the subscribe and the bell because that really does help my channel and gets me up there. Okay, here we go. Let's go take a look at what I've got going on in my store. Okay, all right, here's my store and we're going to start with what I've earned so far for the last month. This last month, let's see, what do I got going on here? This month was $8.37. If I go to this week, six of that is this week, which is pretty good. So it kind of went up. Um, let's look at what I did for last month for April, since we're in the beginning of May. <coughs> April wasn't too bad. I had twenty nine ninety nine, so that's pretty good. Okay, so things are going up. I don't have a lot of new followers. That number hasn't changed. But sales are changing little by little, which is nice. That's the important part. But if you want to follow my store, the link is below. That would be awesome. Okay, if I look at the store ranking, it says I'm 75th percentile, which isn't too bad. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go look at my store and see what's new. I have added a few new products since the last time I did a video. Most of them are reading comprehension products that's what I primarily have in my store right now I have K to 8 for these but currently in my store I've uploaded mostly K to 3 there are a few scattered other grade levels but I'm working kind of my way up and I'm almost done to the third grade almost done to the third grade level but the last couple that I've added are how can sense change the way you feel what unique thing do bower birds do what are the blues what are feral animals? What are the Mayan pyramids? Those are the most recent ones that I've loaded. There is a PDF version of each of these. There is a Google Slides version of these for those of you that want it digital in a digital classroom. And then there's a bundle for both of them together. Let's take a look at the latest one so you can see it up close, okay? So this is what they look like. Here's the samples. And there's the preview. All right. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's go back to my store. So, yeah, that's what's new in my store. So my goal is to try to make this video once a week and make it so I'm keeping myself accountable and having a weekly updated video for you about my TPT store. My goal is to... I'm almost to getting a third grade reading level done. Uh, what these lessons are for is they're primarily for reading comprehension. Each lesson has a different topic, as you saw, which is what I love about them because it helps keep the students interest. They each story has five comprehension questions that you answer about the story that you read. They're all short stories. And then at the end of each story is an essay question to prompt a writing for students to write about the story they just read, which also helps students with writing because they don't always know what to write about. So that's why I love these stories. I absolutely love them. I used them with my kids when I homeschooled them, and now I'm using them in my online classrooms. So they're wonderful. They're great. All right. I hope you like this update. Don't forget to follow me, and I will see you in the next one.